In this video, we'll talk about whether acetic acid, that CH3COOH, is polar or nonpolar. Sometimes you'll see this written as C2H4O2. I like it this way here because this COOH up here kind of shows you this carboxylic group here. So we have our molecular structure here, our molecular model. White, those are the hydrogens. We have oxygens are red, carbon, black. So right away, you should look at this and say, wow, we have these oxygens here on this end. If they're pretty electronegative, that kind of makes you think this is going to be a polar molecule. But let's take a look at the differences in electronegativity between each bond here in the CH3COOH. So on this end here, we have carbon and hydrogen. So we have a difference 2.55 and 2.20. So these bonds right here between the carbons and the hydrogens, there's not a big difference. In fact, it's less than 0.5. So we consider these bonds here to be nonpolar bonds. Then we have the carbon here bonded to the carbon. But the oxygen, 3.44, 2.55 for the carbon, that's greater than 0.5. That's a pretty big difference. So these bonds between the carbon and the oxygens, those are going to be polar bonds. And then again out here, we have this oxygen and a hydrogen. That's also a really big difference. So we know we have these polar bonds here, pretty much nonpolar on this side. Again, looks like it's going to be a polar compound. So you can imagine since this is a polar bond, the electrons here in the bond, they're going to spend more time with the oxygen. This is going to be a little bit negative. Down here again too, we'll have the oxygen being negative. This hydrogen, because of the difference, that'll be a little bit positive. On this side over here, probably going to be a little more positive, at least relative to what we have over here. And if we put a map of the electrostatic surface over our molecule here, we can see the red areas, that's the partial negative. We can see that up here, a little lesser extent down here, and then the positive, that's the blue. So we correct about that in the blue over here. So that's how you figure out whether CH3COOH, this acetic acid, is polar or nonpolar. It is a polar molecule. One thing to note about our acetic acid here is we draw the COOH on the end here. This H, this one right here, to a small extent, it'll dissociate. When you put this in water, it's a polar molecule. It'll dissolve. And a percentage, a small percentage of this hydrogen ion here will come off. We'll have this H+. Plus. That's what makes acetic acid an acid. This is Dr. B answering the question whether CH3COOH is polar or nonpolar. It is a polar molecule. Thanks for watching.